Good morning and welcome. My name is Doris. Closure is coming. That closure that you have been waiting for for so long, for so many years, maybe even decades, it is coming. Before we get to this word, let us pray. Father, I thank you. I bless you, Lord. I glorify your name, Lord. Thank you for yet another opportunity to share your word. I pray that this word is going to be a blessing. It's going to be an encouragement and a revelation. Lord, anoint your word even as I release it. I pray that whoever is going to hear this word, Lord, they shall hear that which you are saying. In this hour, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, this is a very unique month. Many are in the beginning of something new. Many are in the beginning of something fresh. For most of us, our plans have reached its expiry date. And God is moving on our behalf. Now, as God is moving, you are going to see things starting to shift in your life and things starting to move together. You see, the Passover period is going to fall on the last three days of this month. And many are going to experience closure in a lot of things as this month comes to an end as this month comes to a close many are gonna be transitioning in a completely different season a season that is divinely orchestrated by god closure usually comes with closed doors and this can be very frustrating it can be uncomfortable you see the things that have not been serving any purpose in your life will have to end the places that are not conducive to what God is doing in your life, the places that are not conducive to what God is releasing you into, will have to close up because it's going to be a stumbling block to you. It is time to move with God because many of our old ways of doing things is not going to suffice in this season. It's not going to work in this season. <clears throat> This season that you are going to be entering into, there are so many things in your life that are just not going to work for you. There is a new fragrance that the Lord is releasing even in this hour. There is going to be this aura around you that is going to be noticeable by people. When you encounter people, they are going to notice something is different about you. The book of Songs of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 10 to 13, it reads like this. My beloved spoke and said to me, Arise, my darling, my beautiful one, come with me. See, the winter is past, the rains are over and gone. Flowers appear on the earth, the season of singing has come, the cooing of doves is heard in the land. The fig tree forms its early root fruit. The blossoming vines spread their fragrance. Arise, my darling, my beautiful one, come with me. There is a passing over and a crossing over that is taking place for the people of God into a new season. Spring is already here and many are Many are going to be marching forth and are, and are going to be springing into a new season, into a new place, into a new level, into a new dimension. You are going to experience victory in this hour. You see, the winter season is past. And the caterpillar in the cocoon process is shifting to the breaking. You are breaking forth into a butterfly. As the month progresses, you are going to be experiencing new life. You are going to experience a new day. You, you are going to experience new heights and even new sights. The Lord gave me this dream. It was a very short dream, but the major thing about the dream was that I was at a rooftop. And it was a very high building. Naturally, in the natural, I am scared of heights. 
But in this dream, I was really enjoying the scenery. I was enjoying everything around me. And I was even surprised with myself why I was not afraid of the heights. Listen, God is bringing you into new heights in your life. By the time the day of Passover come, the children of Israel had endured enough. By the time the day of Passover came upon the children of Israel, they had endured so much. They had endured enough. The intensity of the captivity and the bondage had become unbearable for them. And God brought closure to that season of their lives. God brought closure to the season of suffering in their lives. God brought closure to the season of pain in their lives. God brought closure to the season of anguish in their lives. And that is exactly what God is bringing closure into in your life. The Lord is going to bring closure in the season of hardship in your life. You are going to see closure. There was closure to the season of bondage and captivity in the lives of the children of God. God is going to bring closure to that season of bondage and that season of captivity that you found yourself in. Some of you may have reached a place where you feel like you can't take it anymore. The enemy held you captive in something. The devil tried so hard to enslave you and to capture you. Affliction became the order of the day in your life. Maybe through sickness, financial problems, family issues. All these were afflictions that were brought against you. The taskmaster has not been relenting in your life. The word of God says, affliction shall not rise up a second time. Closure is coming. You, ha you are going to experience freedom in a new way. God is bringing closure to the hardship that you have endured even that which was meant to kill you, that which was meant to destroy you, is going to pass over. You are, you are going to enter into your springtime in the spirit. God is bringing closure to the season of weeping. God is bringing closure to the season of mourning. A time of rejoicing is coming. You are being released you are being released from the weights and the cares that have been weighing you down in that previous season, the season that you are coming out of. Doors are closing. Doors of affliction are closing. It's going to be different for you. You are headed somewhere. You are headed to a good place that God has prepared for you. The winter is over. That season that was that season that was so cold in your life, the cold season of your life, the unproductive and unfruitful season of your life is coming to your end. It, th that door is closing. God is bringing closure to that season, the winter season of your life. God is bringing closure to it. You see, there is a door of new hope that is opening up for you. A season of singing is getting ready to break forth in your life. There is new life that is coming to you. Things are gonna start budding and flowering in your life. You are gonna enter into fruitfulness. You are gonna enter into a time of blossoming when God brings closure to your Past, your destiny aligns and breaks forth. You are being released from the hardships that have been plaguing you. The adversity that you have faced is what is going to drive you deeper into your purpose. It's what is going to drive you deeper into your destiny. Closure is coming to that season of that season of despair. Listen, closure is coming to that season of despair. God is turning it around for your good. You were created to be a carrier of God's glory. There are heavy burdens that the enemy placed on you. That God is getting ready to 
to read it off of you. There are walls that the enemy tore down in your life that the Lord is rebuilding even right now. There are things that the enemy demolished in your life that is being rebuilt and restored. This month is going to end with closure for you and you are going to encounter a time of rejoicing a time of refreshing there is joy that awaits you there is joy that is set before you there are things that have plagued your life for years <clears throat> And no matter how hard you try to bring an end to it, it kept on keeping on. God is bringing closure in those things in your life. God is bringing closure in different areas of your life that brought you so much pain. The areas of your life that brought you frustration, that brought shame and disgrace in your life. That door is closing. This is your month to put your house in order. Allow for God to order your steps in this season. Step into your new dimension. God is going to bring you into your new place. He is arranging and rearranging things in your life to bring you to a place of closure. You have cried for so long, seeking closure for things that have been happening in, in your life. And that closure is coming. You are going to see that closure come into your life. And you are going to... You see, when God closes a door, no one can open it. And God is closing so many doors. The doors that were open in your life that was giving the enemy access into your life to cause depression to cause frustration to cause bitterness resentment anger god is closing those doors they are being shut get ready for closure may the lord abundantly bless you i love you so so much but the lord he loves you so much more. He loves you with an everlasting love. And there is nothing that can separate you from his love, which is in Christ Jesus. Blessing and shalom. And know that I do appreciate you for all that you do for me. Blessings.